Hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of Bissa's Room. My name is Bissa Ray. This is my room. Episode 10, you guys. We have officially done this for 10 episodes. And yeah, again, I, I know that I've been talking a lot about milestones and accomplishments in regards to the one month, but hitting a nice, lovely double digit number in these videos feels really fun and feels really exciting. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to still be doing this. Uh, thank you once again for returning. I'm gonna go ahead and remind you up top, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you get updates whenever I post. I love it when you guys see these videos. I love it when you guys watch my videos and hitting the bell notification is a fantastic way for you to just make sure that you are aware every time I drop. So now that we have that business out of the way as per usual, I'm gonna just go ahead and get into the topic for today right away. I have been wanting to make this video pretty much since the time I started making these videos. When I decided to start this channel, I had left my job here in the city of Milwaukee. I Things were really unknown. At the time, I was in the process of trying to figure out what was next. I didn't have a job. Things were feeling really uncertain. I had about like a week's worth of time where I just was kind of processing everything that had happened, processing what it meant to be unemployed and looking for a job specifically as a server in the midst of the slowest time during the service season. I kind of just realized pretty quickly that finding another job serving in the city was just probably not going to be very feasible. And so there was one night that Cole and I went and we were on a walk wandering around the streets of Milwaukee as we like to do, I kind of looked at him and I said, I think it's time. And so from that point forward, we made a plan and very soon that plan is about to come to completion. And I think I've waited a really long time to talk about this because I kind of am a superstitious person and I didn't want to jinx it. I, I always have like a fear of jinxing good things that I, I want to happen that haven't happened yet. For the first time ever in my life, I will be moving out of Wisconsin and traveling over a thousand miles, relocating to the beautiful sunny state of Florida. <laughs> um, I know my pale ass, right? <laughs> it's a big deal, you guys. I was born and raised in Wisconsin. I've lived in Wisconsin for my entire life. And yet I think I've always known that I didn't want to stay in Wisconsin for my entire life. It's a beautiful state. There's so much gorgeous nature out here and so much about this place that I really love and cherish. But the plan was never to stay. That never was my great intention. And initially, I think I always really thought that I was going to leave after I graduated college, after I finished at the University of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But of course, a few months before I received my degree from them, a little pandemic hit and very quickly and very drastically my entire life changed just like everyone and I had to kind of reassess where my life was at and my overall course in life just shifted heavily and yet my desire to leave never really changed it just kind of pivoted to a greater question of like logistically what needs to happen for me at the time to make that move to somewhere else and there's a lot of pressure i think especially as an artist to move to a bigger city move somewhere where there's at least the illusion that you're going to be able to make more traction and have a larger community and a larger network of people to connect with but you know moving to a larger city comes with a lot of challenges and a lot of stress specifically financial ones even living here in milwaukee i mean this is a topic that we talk about a lot um personally so i'm happy to talk about it on the channel I'm sure that this is something that's relatable, but you know, rent 
costs and living costs in general are skyrocketing. They're unfortunately, especially here in the state of Wisconsin, but honestly, I'm sure across the entire country, I just have experience with the state of Wisconsin, pretty much no renters laws whatsoever. And so it puts us as renters and especially as folks who are part of Gen Z and even millennials who are more or less forced to rent because of the current climate and our general inability to have access to purchasing power enough so to buy a home for ourselves in a really vulnerable position and it's fucked up and it's not right and it's really frustrating i mean even in the course of i would say the past two or three years the overall cost of an apartment has gone up i would say close to four hundred dollars and that just feels like a pretty damning number. We haven't seen minimum wage change from 725 since 2009. Obviously it is now 2024. And unfortunately the overall market is not changing drastically enough to match up with the rising cost of living. And that's across the board. I'm specifically talking about renting, but also I think it's, it's true of everything. It's true of getting your oil changed. It's true of buying groceries. Everything is just up and it's very stressful. And I think it's something that we're all struggling with. And I don't know what the solution is because it really doesn't seem like anyone in our government cares about the real life issues that people are facing. We love to talk about general social commentary issues and flashy issues, but all of these things kind of seem to just be a loud distraction amongst the real life issues that everyday people are facing. So I just want to acknowledge that because that has been an unendingly stressful factor in all of this. I would love to just pick up and move to Chicago or move to New York or move to LA and set roots in a place that has the industry there. But realistically, without having pre-established connections with people in those spaces, Spaces, and honestly, just like a large amount of financial stability to kind of float you until you can get your own situation set up. It's just not something that's realistic. And so that kind of brings us to the conversation of Florida. Why are we moving to Florida? What is in Florida? Where are you going in Florida? We're kind of going to the middle of nowhere in Florida, but there's a little house out there. And I've talked about this for sure in my Radio Milwaukee live performance that I did. And a little bit in general, if you've ever kind of come into contact with any of my conversations about the Dundee tapes, it's kind of this project that's been an ongoing body of music for my brother Cole and I since 2022, I believe. And it is just this really gorgeous collection of songs that are totally different from anything that I've released, sort of leaning into this really wonderful sort of classic Americana style. And they were born in this house that we're moving to. Initially, at the time when we first went down there and wrote all of this music, I was working two jobs to pay for an apartment that was way too expensive that I was paying for on my own after my roommate ultimately kind of ditched me and left me with the entire lease for the entire year. I was kind of at my wit's end. I was working eight, nine, ten days in a row, catching maybe one or two days off and then kind of running back that cycle. And I was burning the candle at both ends. And frankly, I was just feeling kind of miserable. And so finally, I had a bunch of paid time off that I had saved up from, from working so much all the time. And I just was like, screw it. We're gonna drive down to Florida. I'm gonna go with my brother. At the time we were close, but we weren't even really that close. We had just started performing together and done a couple of shows together. But we packed out all of our stuff up in the car and we went down there and we were only down there. I think we were properly there for maybe only four days, but it was just an opportunity to get away and kind of get my head on straight and figure out where I was heading and maybe not really know where I was heading, but reassess things and evaluate what I really wanted for myself. And what I did know was living in that apartment and working those jobs and being under like constant mental and emotional turmoil because of those jobs and because of my financial stresses was not something that was working for me and was not something that was gonna work for me in the long term with any level of longevity. And so after that point, you know, a lot of things in my life shifted. I, I gave up my apartment in the city. I spent the entire summer after that, literally just couch surfing, working for a food truck. And then ultimately winter came and the food truck was no longer a viable form of income. And I had to move back into my parents' basement. 
And that was a vulnerable and difficult decision. You know, I left home when I was 18 and that was no accident. I, I never really felt that comfortable or confident about myself when I was living with my parents. It just was never really the healthiest dynamic. And so making the decision to move back into their house was a really difficult one for me. Moving back into my small, tiny Wisconsin town, it just felt regressive. But I knew that it was a decision that I needed to make for myself so that I could financially recover and then make a poised decision about what I wanted for myself and where I wanted to go. And so ultimately that stay in my parents' basement was relatively short-lived because in classic fashion, we continued to butt heads and things didn't totally make sense and didn't totally feel the most healthy. And so before too long, my brother Cole and I, who over the time really since we took that trip down to Florida had just become closer and closer and like of course now is like my ultimate best friend and ultimate collaborator who I'm in cahoots with in most of the things that I do made the decision to move back to Milwaukee for a year. And again, also not the easiest one because I wanted to leave the state. I didn't want to just go back to the place that I had already spent so much time. But I also knew that staying in my parents' house wasn't working for me and I needed to get back into an environment that at least felt safe and comfortable so I could make a decision about where to move next. And before long, I think I'd found myself again feeling pretty frustrated and feeling pretty stuck in these cycles. Like I'm back in Milwaukee, I'm back in the same communities of people that aren't necessarily really working that well for me and aren't necessarily really serving me that well, doing the same things, having the same job troubles, having the same money troubles, having the same experiences over and over again. It just felt very much like this vicious cycle that I couldn't break. And I went and I, I talked to one of my mentors on the phone for a long time, I was I was talking to him. His name's Scott. And he is actually, I, I want to give a shout out to Scott. I don't think that he watches literally any of these videos. But I'm literally doing this because Scott is the one who gave me permission and, and encouraged me wholeheartedly to do this. And it's funny because that conversation that I had with him was probably, honestly, I don't even know. It was probably close to a year ago, probably in April or maybe May, where I was on the phone with him and I was just saying like, you know, Scott... I feel so stuck and I feel so frustrated. I had just spent all of that money with that PR company trying to promote Sad Girl Season and didn't really see any real traction as far as growing a new and real genuine fan base and following. I was talking to him about it and he, you know, he was like, You're that was a scam. You shouldn't have spent your money that way, which was like a little bit of like a, a dagger to the heart. Like, oh fuck, I wasted my money. But it's okay. Like I said, everything is a learning experience if you if you make it that and and it's far more beneficial for you to look at the silver lining in things and look at the bright side of things than to focus on the negative because the negatives are just never going to serve you the same as the positives. And most things that feel negative at the time really are some of the most valuable learning lessons. So it's important to keep that in mind when you're going through tough times because usually you will come out on the other end with a lot of valuable information and experience that you just wouldn't have gotten any other way besides experiencing it for yourself. So things to bear in mind. But yeah, I was talking to him on the phone and I told him about this house that we're going to be moving to, which is just a place that my family has owned for most of my life and we've been going there for most of my life. And it, it just was sitting empty. And, you know, I said to him, well, Scott, there's this house down in Florida and it's empty and we could just go and see what happens and live really inexpensively working with our family on living costs rather than working with a landlord. It's the middle of nowhere. There's nothing there for us. We don't have anyone or any connections in Florida, but it would be a chance to start over. It would be a chance to just have a fresh and new experience in a different place where no one knows me and most importantly where I would have more time and space and energy to dedicate and commit to doing music and creating which is the thing that I love the most and is the thing that makes me feel the most human. From the moment that we got off the phone I immediately went to Cole and we had that conversation. What if we did this? What would that look like? Is it crazy? Are we totally insane? But we kept talking about it and we kept having that conversation. 
And ultimately, we made the decision that that was going to be the right choice for us and that that was our goal. We were going to make it to Florida. And that conversation was happening in summer of this past year. And so we kind of spent a month probably having the conversation between ourselves, maybe a couple of months, having this conversation between ourselves talking about the real potential, creating a timeline. Initially, we were supposed to leave in October of 2023. Here we are. March is running out rapidly. (laughs) We will arrive shortly before April does. But we set that goal for ourselves and we made a plan and we, we wrote like a whole like PowerPoint presentation basically in our iPhone app and then went to our family and pitched it. This is what we want. This is why we want to go down there. This is how we'll manage the financials. Here are all the benefits. And this is our purpose and our intention in making this move. And our parents surprised us and were really supportive. But our whole family who was involved wasn't. And there were some roadblocks. And also financially, at any point, relocating your entire life is a big thing. And also we were locked up in this lease until the end of January. And so all of those things were things that we had to bear in mind. And right before, around the time where we initially were talking about leaving, I ended up getting this that really high paying job that I had until I started this channel. And it was helping me. I was meeting my financial goals. I was paying off my credit card debt that I'd acquired from investing with that PR company earlier that year. And so we made the decision to wait. We made the decision to push it kick the can down the road, make sure that we're financially stable, see the end of the lease all the way through so that we didn't have to mess around with paying out our landlord company or potentially having an eviction on our record, which would have potentially really held us back from what we were trying to accomplish in the future in terms of just being able to be renting anywhere in the state of Wisconsin or anywhere in the United States for that matter. We kept kicking the can down the road And we kept dragging our feet and there were plenty of reasons and dynamics that were holding us back. But at the end of the day, this is something that we both really wanted to do and that we're doing for ourselves because we believe in our craft and we believe in our practice and we believe that our lives and our presence has something bigger to offer than just staying in Wisconsin for our entire lives. Ultimately, There was a period where I think we questioned if it was ever going to happen. And then I lost my job. I left my job. Let me be specific. But it felt like I lost my job because I didn't really feel like I had a lot of choice in the matter. And yet in that moment where I was feeling so down and I was feeling so frustrated and lost, I made a choice that was incredibly empowering. We're going to do it. It's officially time. We don't have to drag our feet anymore. This is kind of the universe telling me that it's time to go and it's okay to go and it's okay to let go. From that point forward, we put things into action. You know, we had those intentional conversations with our family. We found a good agreement there. We let our landlords know that we would be leaving. I started going back into my hometown to substitute teach and make money rather than trying to find a new job established in the city that I was living in right now. And also around that time, like I said, is when I started to make these videos and really lean in heavily to starting this channel and to being more serious and intentional about my creative practice in this space, specifically with the capacity to highlight my music and my practice as a whole. Now it's happening. In less than two weeks, we are leaving Milwaukee, saying goodbye and starting an entirely new journey. And it's really exciting for the channel and for this space because it's gonna give us infinitely more room and more opportunity to just share what we're working with and create with more of a consistency like I've been doing, but even more so, and just give you an even greater amount of content and variety. I think we're gonna be sharing a lot more 
of the music side of things. We're going to be giving you some performances here on YouTube. We're going to be showing you a lot of the behind the scenes of the Dundee tapes and of the projects that we're working on. A lot of really cool visuals that are going to be kind of coming along. I mean, again, it's just like the sky is the limit. There's so much potential in moving out here. And like, I just can't wait to share this journey with you guys and share more. I'm going to try to do, I think, some level of like vlogging about the move along the move so you can kind of follow this journey with us because it's a big deal and it's scary. And for anyone who is thinking about doing a similar sort of move for themselves or has had a similar feeling of being stuck and feeling like they don't know what they're doing with their lives or feeling like they're in a pattern and a cycle that they can't break out of, this is just a reminder that you are in charge of your life. You get to make intentional choices for who you want to be and where you want to go. And the only thing that's really holding you back is you and realistically, probably your fear. And that's also something we talk a lot about on this channel. Fear. It's a big one. It's present so often. But doing hard things and making bold and courageous choices always reaps such amazing benefits. And I know that I say that all the time in these videos, but it just continues to be so amazingly true. And that doesn't mean that it doesn't come without its hardships and it doesn't come without its pitfalls. I've been slowly actually losing my mind, kind of spiraling with anxiety, trying to get this entire move organized and trying to make sure that my ducks are in a row. But I'm so proud of myself for actually taking this leap of faith and actually putting my money where my mouth is and just starting new and starting fresh. So that's the news, you guys. Your girl is moving to Florida. <laughs> I'm so scared, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited and I'm so hopeful about everything that's gonna come. I cannot wait to keep sharing this journey with you guys. I cannot wait to just show you all of the beautiful artwork that we create and all of the new ideas that we're gonna have once we're out there. Thank you once again for being here, for being along on this journey, 10 episodes and a brand new state and a brand new city on the way. This beautiful set that I have behind me may be going away soon. So I wanna give a shout out to this space because I really love this room and it was part of what really inspired me to start doing this. So if all of a sudden the set goes away or thing changes, don't be scared, don't be afraid. I'm gonna work on getting sort of like a new setup in Florida once we kind of get down there and settled, but it might take me a little bit of time for the transition. So be patient with me and bear with me. I think I'll probably have one more video in this space and then it'll probably be different from that point forward. I just wanted to share this news with you guys because you're my community and this is a huge major event in my life and I'm nervous, but I'm excited and we can do hard things. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. Thank you so much for tuning into any of my videos. Don't forget to be brave. Don't forget to be courageous and lean into the things that scare you. My name is Bissa Ray. This is my room. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye. <laughs> you got your own style, disposition and taste kind of person. Struggle to keep away, I know.